We may have just found the oldest burger stand that is still owned and operated by the owner. Yeah. We found a burger stand that's in Van Nuys that not only has five stars, but the guy who makes the burgers has been working here for over 50 years and is 91 years old. Yeah, and supposedly he's the only one that cooks the stuff. Like from day one to now, he's using the original grill and he's still cooking. And, and there's a quote right here that uh, that someone asked him, what do you remember about your first day of business back in 1965? And he says, I don't remember anything. I'm 91 years old. I'm lucky to be here. He's clearly just, all he knows is just to cook burgers. I mean, if you cook burgers in the same little shack for 50 years, you better have mastered it. So with that being said, welcome back to a brand new episode of My Fortunate Life Choices starring yours truly, Brendan Taylor, and this is Jake Taylor. And today we found this place. It's called Bill's Hamburgers. It is located in Van Nuys. The money sign is only one money sign. We drove by it a couple days ago and it was way too packed to film this video. So it is 10 in the morning right now and we are planning to go over there and knock this video out before it gets too busy and before the lunch rush comes. With no further ado, let's hop into these reviews and let's see what the people really say about this place. So it's only open four days of the week. Yeah. Tuesday through Friday. And they close at four. So they're literally open just for like that lunch rush and then they're closed. And they probably sell out. Great burger in Van Nuys. The Burger tastes like homemade burgers, well seasoned, juicy, and delicious. This is an iconic place in Los Angeles and has been around forever. Best part of eating is at the counter and talking to the regulars that have been coming for 30 to 40 years. Wow. If you have a certain spot, like I know In N Out is a lot of people's spots, but this is literally just a little hut. You guys will see shortly when we get over there, but if this is the place that people have been going for 30, 40 years, yeah. like it must be that damn good. Yeah, it's definitely a different vibe from In N Out. Definitely. I love Bill's Burgers. It's very simple, just the way I like it, and cheap too. If you plan on eating here, better call in advance so you don't have to wait. This is crazy. The burgers literally look like nothing special, and what I've heard about this place is that it's not the meat, it's not the ingredients, but it's the grill that they've been using for 50 years because it's just so cooked up with just oil and grease that it adds a certain juice to the burger and my mouth and is flavor. already it's that like yeah, burnt flavor my mouth is watering I can't even speak let's get one more and then let's get over there before it gets too busy damn Bill you got it going on. Not sure what it is about this burger place, if it's the fact that a 90 plus year old is putting all the love in his cooking, the patties, the buns, or what. But Bill's Burgers are the bomb.com. Do yourself a favor and check out this LA stable. Please note, cash only. That is really good to yeah. find out because we would have walked in with hella credit cards and got absolutely nothing. So without any further ado, let's head on over to the ATM. Let's grab some money and let's go to this place because I am excited to try an iconic burger and all these photos are really starting to yeah. like make this burger look even better. But the thing is, is it almost looks sort of like a plain burger. Like yeah, plain I literally Jane. think it's like just like a burger that we would make at a barbecue. But, but it's the so thing good. Is, is it's putting his whole love in the ass grill. I don't, they don't even make french fries. That's yeah, what I heard. Yeah, chips, Lay's. It's literally Lay's potato chips that's all they got hey let's try it and i heard if you're lucky they, they might even throw some grilled onions on there if he's feeling lucky wow well hopefully so. he's not feeling lucky because i don't really like onions <laughs> <laughs> you guys are back yeah, yeah. we're back having a better time this time yeah, right? Right? <laughs> so, uh, you guys are lucky i know busy right now yeah. actually you want to order food or yeah yeah, yeah. So, uh, what is like the staple thing? Like, I'll say like either a single or double cheeseburger. Okay, let's get a double cheeseburger. Sure. You want one too? Yeah. What, what comes on though? Yeah. Mayonnaise, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, and onions. We, we do, do no mayonnaise. Yeah. So, what it looks like is that is Bill right there, and he is working on a grill that literally looks like it is from the 1960s. What adds the, I feel like that is what adds the flavor to each and every burger, is the fact that it is such an old grill. So it's adding all those years of love and just grease into the burger, which is making it therefore a better burger. So I'm super excited to try this. Can you imagine this? If you work in like the fast food where like there's grills and like a lot of grease going on, usually your skin is pretty bad. This man has been working behind a grill with grease going into his face right here from the steams and fumes of the burgers, but he still has good skin. That's crazy to me. Cause I remember my little sister worked at In-N-Out for a little bit and her just being inside there gave her a lot of acne. This man has been doing it for 50 years. Okay, so here we are, the infamous Bill's Burger. And uh, I guess we're gonna get a little taste test. I'm gonna do mine with ketchup because I'm a ketchup fiend. First off, like, look at the seasoning coming out of it. Yeah, it's literally jam-packed. I do notice that the patties are a bit thin. Yeah. So I would normally want probably like for a decently sized burger, a four by four to make yeah. this thing worth it. I might but have to order another one. Me too. 
Mm. Wow. Okay. It tastes like a like perfectly like family barbecue burger, but better. You know what I mean? Like better quality meat and stuff compared to like a family barbecue. It's about like the inside is juicy and cheesy, but the outside, the rim is yeah, like... Yeah, it's still it's like a burnt, but yeah. crispy. Every bite of it is super juicy, too. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I'm so sure. The only weird combo to me is some Lay's chips with it. Like, I mean, it works together. It's just strange, you know? The cheese is perfectly melted on there. Like, it's not just thrown on there like some of the places that you go. You just get like yeah. a burger with some cheese thrown onto it. It almost, it almost doesn't like really make full sense to me because it's better than what anyone would ever make at a barbecue. Right. It's not as mainstream as, as like, a normal a burger joint or like in and out or anything like yeah. that. Like this like has, in and out is so boom, 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 boom. And they all taste the same. I guarantee you like, if we get another one, it's gonna taste a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Cause like in and out has their rules and they probably cook each side for three minutes and 30 seconds. This guy just, he knows when he wants to flip He it. cooks it till he thinks it's ready. He definitely like it has its regulars. Pete, this guy didn't want to be on camera, but he's probably been coming here for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised it took us this long to find out about this place. Yeah. Oh. So we just ordered two more burgers. So now, so like what I talked about with the four x four, you know, we're big guys. We, we want to grow. And I want to also point out, this is brand new merch. It just, it's literally just dropping. So if you want to grab some before it sells out, it's super limited. We're only doing a couple hundred of these. BrandonTaylor.com, pick it up now because these are not gonna last. It's the cool surfer edition. I'm gonna put an even closer image vibe. of it. Super summer vibes, but still you can just kick back and chill in it. And it's actually got a lot of detail, so I can't wait for you guys to check these out. BrandonTaylor.com. Yeah. Number two, baby. Mm. So good. So good. All right, we got here literally 20 minutes ago, and look how busy it is already. And keep in mind, it is just barely 12 o'clock right now. It's 11.50 still, and the line is starting. We have to come back tomorrow morning to interview Bill himself because it's just way too packed. And since he's the only one cooking, who else is going to cook and talk? Not Bill. So we'll be back in the morning, and we're going to interview him. Uh, we heard that you've been here for like, is it 50 years? 55. 55 years. How did you create a business that lasted for 55 years? Good hamburgers. Good, no. good hamburgers. What, what, is, what is the the secret to a long life? We talked about like you being behind the grill for 50 years. Just work. Keep working. Just keep working? People retire and die. Yep. That's true. You know that. but not you. You keep working. That's your city working. What do you think is like the uh, the secret is? Do you think it's the grill or do you think it's the love that you put into the burgers? What is it? No, well, I think uh, they say they're delicious to compare to other people's burgers. Yeah. Now, another thing I heard is only one hamburger stand in Van Nuys. Yeah, you're the, you're the only one. That's what that's what they're saying is you're the only I, I, one I, left. I thought I heard customers say yeah, I didn't know that. What's been like a main change since the beginning of your stand and now? Well, money. Money. Uh, yeah. How much did you used to sell a burger for back in the day? 40 cents. 40 cents? Yeah. And now what do you sell a burger for? Five dollars, whatever, yeah. That's a good upsell, right? And rent was $75 for how, the lease. Oh, yeah? $75, 75 uh, for, uh, for the month? month. Wow. Jump to 100, 10 years, 10 years, you jump to another 100, to 200. What, why did you want to make a burger stand in the first place? It was already here. It, it was, was already here. here. That's what it was when I got here. Oh. Uh. Changed hands. I was in a lot there. I manager a Mission Linen Supply Laundry before I bought this. Okay. Got my first car. Uh-huh. A used car. You can buy a new car for $850. Wow. That's crazy. One. Yeah. And it's there anyway. And I was on the way home with it and it needed gas. So I pulled in a gas station. In them days, the depression and no money. I had a quarter. Got two gallons. Wow, a, a quarter a gets two gallons. Two, a, and a penny chain. And a penny chain. Wow, wouldn't that be nice if that's still, still yeah, how things were? Do that. you have any children that you would pass this off to or no? Well, I just married uh, one daughter last year. I'm from Ventura. Born and raised in Ventura. Yeah. All of us are, a matter of fact. Shoebass. My daughter and my uh, ex-wife buried them in Ventura last oh, year yeah. with cancer. Both a different time. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Year. Wow. You know, I didn't kill them. They died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they died. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yeah. Uh, so I got a boy left. Period. That's it. Does he have any you interest in taking you? And a daughter in Georgia. Oh. My first daughter. She's 67. 67, your daughter. Yeah. A lot of people in L.A. say that you have the best burger 
in LA. How do you feel about that? That your burger is the best. Oh, I can't argue with them, you know. <laughs> and you're like, I don't well, know what well, I do. You, you were here the other day late, but yeah. After uh, 11 o'clock, it starts getting busier in Al Hamburg. Yeah. If you guys want to come check out Bill's Burgers, it's right. What did you know the address? This, what's the address here? 14742 Oxnard Street. Make sure you come check out. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Make sure you check out Bill. Come say hi to him. He makes the, the yeah. best burgers out here. That's Super fun. delicious. Check him out. That was cool. That made, put me a smile on my face. Yeah, it makes it makes it almost like attaches you to the food more. You kind of really get like an understanding of where this guy's come. He's been making food for 55 years. He's 90 something years old, and he's still kicking. Like he said, most people are either retired or dead at this point. And I asked him, "How do you live so long?" And he said, "You just got to keep working. Don't stop working. A lot of people retire and they stop working, and then they die." Not him. He's still here. He's still kicking. And God bless this man. Make sure you come check out Bill's Burgers because the history behind it is insane. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. I need to tell you guys about Patreon. If you are not a member on Patreon, I recommend you go over to patreon.com slash Brandon Taylor and check out all our new tiers. We are adding tons of new things. I'm going to be putting some on the screen so you guys can see just exactly what we have. But we have a lot in store for you for the month of August. So if you want to win cool prizes, if you want to see cool videos, if you want to experience the time of your life, make sure you come check us out at patreon.com slash Brandon Taylor. I know I asked you guys to check out a lot of things, but this is something you must check out. Patreon.com slash Brandon Taylor. That is it for this video. I love you guys. Peace out. Bye. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.